first impression here is that um, there's there's a lot of devastation here, and that people are working as hard as they can to make do of what they have. They're working together, they're working as hard as they can, and they're trying to keep their spirits up. There's a lot of debris that's been cleaned up. The roads are, look much better, and it doesn't look as bad. The NHLPA and the World Vision Partnership, uh, along with George Rock, they've been doing a great job and, uh, with Grace Children's Hospital. Le 12 janvier, les locaux de l'hôpital ont été détruits et bâtir ces structures transitoires. Et nous avons dû, avec l'aide de World Vision Canada. After the earthquake, we are giving services in the yard over there. And thanks to the Canadian people, we have been able to transfer our services here. Qui est derrière vous là? The hospital here offers several services, including maternal and child health care. We have psychosocial support. We also have outpatient clinics where we treat up to 60,000 people in various sectors outside of the hospital area. 500 people come here for a consultation. In our inpatient ward, we have 24 beds that are almost full every, every time, all the time. World Vision's been working in Haiti for 32 years and will continue working in Haiti for the foreseeable future. Our target population is the population in need, real need. I think it's so important with all the challenges that we face that together organizations like World Vision, ICC, Grace Hospital, the players, that we work together to somehow bring leverage and advocate to the government and to the public here to work together to make a difference. We played hockey with some kids at the site of the hospital. I was amazed at the skill level that some of these kids have. For some of these kids, it's, the sky's the limit for them. And I mean, you just try to give them all the opportunity in the world. And that's all we're trying to do is just give them the opportunity to live. I say that it's God that's given the will to live and the power to live and to be where they are today and to fight for everything that they have. My dad had a, a conversation with me at dinner, and he said, I want you to ask yourself a question. You're winning at hockey, but are you winning at life? Uh, I know we're coming down here to help you know them, but they're also helping us just as much. I'm down here because I want to be a part of the change, and I know that there's a great cause going down here, and I'm just trying to bring awareness to it.